In the video that we posted earlier, we went over foam rolling the upper back. And so now we're gonna just show another way to foam roll the upper back. But again, just a quick review. We have two ways to foam roll our back from here. Head is in a good position, stomach is tight. We can hold the spine nice and still. This would work more muscles, or we can let the thoracic spine be a little bit looser and then just roll up and over. So with this one, we're gonna let the foam roller uh, the same, same direction as our spine. Our head is gonna be supported. Stomach is tight, so we're not gonna want our um, lumbar spine to be extended and arched. We're gonna be down, we're gonna breathe in, and blow it out. Stomach is tight keeps the ribs flat, and then we can come up with our uh, arms here. So one exercise that we show a lot of is the floor angel, and we can do the floor angel on the floor with the foam roller or without it. With the foam roller, it's nice because we can focus on squeezing the shoulder blades together, trying to pinch the foam roller, and then at the same time, it's gonna be stretching the shoulders. This is my right shoulder, is my shoulder that's a little bit more flexible, I can touch and then my left, it's harder to touch. So this is a way to work on opening the front of the body. Stomach is tight, head is in a healthy position. If our head doesn't touch and it becomes uncomfortable, we could put something underneath the small of a head, a rolled up towel, um, piece of foam, doesn't matter. As long as that we're not like overextending our neck and our neck is in line, our ribs aren't coming up, our ribs are down, stomach is tight, and we could go with like three sets of 20 like this. And this is a, just another nice variation of the floor angel. And again, using the foam roller, uh, we're using a bigger foam roller so that it supports us, but it works really well either way. Excellent.